It's done. I have the key to the security fields. We must strike quickly, before word of Golan's death spreads. Ruger is finally vulnerable. If you're ready, we can end his campaign and secure this landing zone for good. Yeah, what are we up against? How much resistance is Ruger packing? He lacks his crisis response unit, but the guard station will be full of veteran soldiers. Expect the worst. Use the security key to drop their shields. My teams will cut off Ruger's backup. No one gets in, no one gets out. We'll give you time to work. Just make sure Ruger doesn't escape. What happens when Ruger and his men are captured or dead? Then it's done. The Warden will have only stragglers to enforce his will. Our shuttles will be free to fly out anyone we desire. But let's not speculate. Go to the guard station and strike at Ruger. We will be behind you. Seriously, Captain, you gotta stop sending your men down here. I'm running out of places to hide the bodies. Then fight me, you coward. We'll see how long you... Hello? Hello? <laughs> my lord, you must do something. That madman is disrupting my mission and butchering my men. What is it you're trying to do here? I've been pulled from more civilized fronts to facilitate the release of our prisoners here. This dungeon houses many loyal Imperials. My orders are to retrieve the prison records so we might find and liberate these patriots. The problem is, a group of escaped cyborgs calling themselves the New Men have taken up residence where those records are kept. They're slaughtering my men. Perhaps I could be of assistance. My thanks. These new men are making a mockery of me and my troops while the Empire's most trusted vassals rot in their cells. The records can be accessed via the Central Records Terminal in the Prisoner Transfer Station. The Republic may still have a presence there. Remember, the new men are the worst of the worst. Cybernetically linked to each other, metal spines full of adrenals. Try to shoot first. Well, I'm the best of the best. So, meh. There's two ways you can leave, Imperial. Cuffed down or feet first. All the Empire wants on this planet is to operate without hassle. We could deal. I'd sooner kiss the wrong end of a hut. Pull your weapon. Yuck. Alright. Now, the text should be off. So, you should be able to see. Oh, crap. Fighting. I me slashing and stuff better without all these numbers going up and down the screen. Should be good. I'm trying to get a better camera angle for you guys, but uh, as you can tell, I've got to keep moving. Oh crap, that was him. Thought that was Quinn casting a med scan for then. I'm like, oh, I just let him go. I'm like, wait a minute, it doesn't show. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Wow, arsehole. But yeah. All right, hold your gloating. Get it over with. You're awfully eager to die. No, I'm just disinclined to make a show of it. <laughs> Ruger! Come in, Ellis Ruger. This is Warden Grawl. We're taking fire and can't reach your position. What's your status? Wrong question, Warden. Instead, ask yourself, what would you give to have him back? Is this a joke? Who's on this frequency? Me. Wait, I've seen you on our cameras. What do you want? I'll take a ransom. One big enough to be worth your friend here. Then he leaves Balsavis forever. Fine. I'll arrange a drop-off. Listen to yourself, Warden. Don't give this scum the satisfaction. Ellis Ruger. You are relieved of duty on Balsavis. Report to me for debriefing and medical attention. I'll transmit the ransom to your base. 
But lay another finger on Ruger, and I'll retract every credit. Now go. Enjoy your payoff while you can. I will. Ah, oh, great. The Imperials can't get their hands on that data. Open fire! And he's an elite. Fantastic. Turn the cargo then. I have the prison records. Oh, let me see. Registries, cell block numbers, access codes. It's all here. Perfect. I'll have this information transmitted to every Imperial officer on Bell Savis. I assume it all went smoothly. The new men were every bit as tough as you said. I'm not one for exaggeration, but you dealt with them swiftly enough. You've guaranteed the freedom of countless Imperials. Our brothers and sisters will soon be free. Thank you. Hooray. That was a rare occasion. We had half their numbers and still handed them their heads. I hear you spared, Ruger. Yep. At least you managed to squeeze a ransom out of the poor warden. He sent this payment to you with well wishes. Violence is not always the answer. I'll never understand that argument, but at least we can agree that with Ruger gone, our landing zone's finally secure. If you'll excuse me, duty calls. I must re-establish contact with Commander Callum. Lord Medishers, come in, Lord Medishers. I am here, Commander Callum. What is your will? Ellis Ruger was blocking our signal. Your men re-established contact once he fell, but I've heard nothing from our other operations groups. Captain Van Dorn must be reached. Our mission is still in jeopardy. Leave this mission to me. Lord Medicius will guard the rear. I give the orders. But yes, you are best suited to meet the Lost Operations Group. Secure the landing zone, Lord Medicius, and stay in constant contact. Commander Callum out. Captain Van Dorn was last seen in the high security wing. Find his camp, but be wary. The Republic is conducting strange experiments with the inmates there. Captain Van Dorn, Commander Callum sent me to assist. Operations Group 4's honored, my lord. I'm happy to report that our prisoner release program's on schedule. We've hit only one hiccup, really. The prisoners here, they're gangs of rabid aliens, formerly members of some Republic experiment. The gangs attack the Republic, as planned, but they're also tormenting our boys. Now there's a large number of berserk aliens between us and the Dread Masters. A prison break needs a clear escape route. Not to worry. Operations Group 4's on the job. We'll have those aliens killed or back in their cells in no... Uh, excuse me. Captain Van Dorn speaking. Dead? All of them? No, that's impossible. Well, stop blabbering and... Sergeant? Sergeant! The alien gangs have wiped out Operations Group 4. We've lost control of this wing. Where the military falls, Captain, a Sith will triumph. Belsavis twisted these aliens into savage killers. Your lightsaber's just what they deserve. Carve up their top gangs and make the aliens fear us. Then we'll be able to evacuate the Dread Masters. Stay here and secure the outpost. Leave the prisoners to me. 
Thank you. Gun for the Gamorians, Anomids, and Gand. They're the fiercest scum of the bunch. Kill enough members of each gang, and they'll learn to respect the Empire. Haha, <laughs> they were the gang names. Okay. Fair enough. Right, These experiments the Republic's been conducting. Xenophobia. Genocidal conditioning. I can hardly believe it. I know it's ghastly, unethical. You know, I had this same idea years ago. You... wait, what? Yes. I didn't have the backing or the resources to pursue it, but the hypotheses were there. Never imagined the Republic would beat me to it. Didn't think they had it in them. Yeah, I was just thinking this is more of an uh, Empire thing. Empires would do more the experiments in the Republic. The aliens. Did you see them? Tearing everyone to pieces. They're frenzied, bloodthirsty. Tore through my military escort in half a minute. I didn't know aliens could be so... so violent. These aliens are angry after years of imprisonment. Don't hold their example against the rest of us. Of course. I didn't mean any... I'm just not used to field research. I shouldn't even be here. But Darth Malgus insisted. He said my task pertains to the Empire's future. These alien gangs are pawns in a Republic-engineered domination experiment. Forced to fight each other in the name of Republic science. That is deeply disturbing. I know. To think they beat us to the research. With the Republic's <laughs> findings, on that. we'd have months, maybe years worth of insight into alien behavior. Plus, we could expose the Republic's dirty secret. I hate to ask, but I can't go back out there. Could you retrieve the Republic's domination experiment research? Leave that to me. Thank you. It's about time we know what the Republic's been working on. This Republic unit was destroyed as well, sir. No survivors. I was hoping they'd wipe each other out. Notify me if you hear anything else. Glad you're here. The Ratataki, the wildest alien prisoners in the Republic's little zoo, have finally overstepped their bounds. The savages have claimed the planet for themselves, call it New Ratatak. They say they'll kill everyone, Republic and Empire alike. Anyone willing to kill Republic troops can't be all bad. They aren't looking to negotiate, they're looking to commit genocide. They've taken a factory and are arming themselves. Right now, they're content to slaughter the Republic, but once they've stockpiled enough armaments, we'll be next on their dance card. The Ratataki need to be put in their place. I'll take care of them myself. I'm certain it will be terrible to behold. You can find their factory in the upper grounds of the compound. You'll need to take out both the leaders and the machines in the factory. There can be no chance of them rebuilding. <laughs> That's one way to open it. Hello out there. A word, please. I am Jedi Master Samanik Timms. Oh, crap. Come out of there, friend, so we can talk properly. Good try, but I sense your nature. I know you are Sith. I even know who you are. Really? Many years past, I was the Padawan of Master Noman Kar. Oh. He and I forged a bond through the Force. I know about your confrontation with Master Kar and what you did to him. Does Master Kar fare well? He's never been the same, and he no longer communes with the Force. Ever since you defeated Carr and took Jasa Wilson, the Jedi Council has been keeping track of you. We know you are no longer aligned with Darth Barriss, and are, in fact, here to stop Lord Melikost from freeing Darth Ekkage. You know a lot, and I remember that fight. That was three of them. Though Barriss is my enemy, I'm still Sith. I expect nothing else, but your arrival here tells me something. It's a dead end, Sith. To follow Lord Melikost, you need information from the computers in this room, but the door has been fused. I came for the same reason. I got the information, but Lord Melikost's commandos trapped me in here. 
Tell me how I can break you out. Our combined strength, striking the door from both sides simultaneously, could break the physical seal. Huh. Trouble is, there's a fail-safe force field that makes even that impossible. Now, if you were to take out that force field... So what exactly do you want me to do? There are several power stations feeding this installation. Destroy them, and the force field will not engage. Then you and I can break through this door, and you can access the prisoner reports. Stop talking. I'll do it. Glad to hear it. Scour the area and destroy the power stations. Then return and start banging on the door. We'll work it out. <laughs> I'll be waiting. After all, where am I going to go? Bad Jack is bad. I'm back. I have returned, Jedi. The power stations are down. Great. With the force field down, we should be able to break the door open. On three. One, two, three! Well done, Sith. Now, before you think to fight me, <laughs> I suggest you look at the computers in here. What? I'd say they've seen better days. Hmm, still smoking. I wonder who could have destroyed them. You destroyed the computers, so I couldn't get the information I need. I did it to make sure no one else sent by Darth Barris could succeed. That is, after you and I stopped Lord Melikost. Now I'm the only one who knows where to go. Our goals are one, even if our motives vary. I suggest a partnership. I don't know if I trust him. I'll keep my anger from consuming me, Jedi. For now. Once the deed is done, we are enemies again. So, no victory celebration then? Too bad. All I'll tell you is that we're headed for Deep Prison. The exact location of Darth Ekage's cell remains my secret. In good faith, I'll point you to her assassins. You can make sure they remain locked up while I get access to the Deep Prison. How do I know you'll make good on your promise? Because it's practical and I am nothing if not practical. You might get the assassins to back down without a fight. Me? Not so much. Here are the coordinates. Follow me when you're done and we'll get together and face the darts. It really will take both of us. Sounds awesome. The machines, the Ratataki leadership, all of it. I took care of them. Excellent. I knew you were the perfect person for the job. I should have sent a hollow crew to record it. The Ratataki will give us a wide berth after your little demonstration. Anyone in my place would have done the same thing. Awkward Perhaps, silence. But without your flair, in the future you should take more pride in your work. Mm. Oh, quest popped up. Look out there. Hundreds of aliens in a savage fight for supremacy. Clever of the Republic to use a prison planet as the perfect secret laboratory. Test subjects abound. No witnesses who aren't complicit. An elegant experiment. Forcing imprisoned aliens to fight each other for dominance. Now they're loose. This experiment doesn't sound like the Republic at all. Which is why they did it here. They had their finest scientist on the job the best chemical cocktails to ramp up aggression. The scientists studied what each alien could take and what they could dish out. Learned the breaking point of each species. Think what the Empire could do with that knowledge. To know which species can be soldiers and which are fit only as slaves. It could help the Empire plan its expansion. Imperial intelligence agrees. 
They want to talk to the scientists involved and uncover everything they know. Normally, the Republic scientists are well guarded, but aliens overpowered the guards and took the researchers hostage. The Republic is negotiating their release, but a Sith Lord could overpower the aliens and recover the scientists. Republic troops, scientists, and aliens. This could go badly wrong. The Empire trusts you to see that it doesn't. Look for the aliens near the jungle caves. They seem to camp there. Once you've dealt with them, you'll be able to gather up the scientists. These neural override collars will force them to return here. Don't cut me off, please. Those alien gangs will think twice before attacking the Empire again. I hope you kicked a few of them while they were down. The alien inmates are right where we want them. Bruised, broken, and terrified of the Empire. But if I know criminals, they'll be back to their old tricks soon. We'd better ensure their wounds stay raw. But we don't have the manpower that disciplinary action takes. On the Find the meanest gang of aliens, then deputize them. They'll keep the rest in line. A repugnant idea. Which, I'm afraid, is the only way out of this mess. The aliens here are mostly slack-jawed brutes. Except the Trandoshans. They follow a strict warrior's code of honor and competition. The fools even worship a goddess. Some scorekeeper they think rewards honor. Devotions carve them into fanatics. Now they roam this wing, hunting dangerous prey. These Trandoshans owe their freedom to the Empire. It's time they repay us. They won't volunteer peacefully, my lord. You'll have to appeal to their appetite for competition. Trandoshans can't resist a worthy foe. They'll fear you, but the chance to kill a mighty Sith will prove too tempting. Challenge their leader to a duel. Demand that if you win, his entire pack serves as the Empire's enforcers. They'll be honor bound to obey. The Trandoshans will soon obey the Empire. Thank you. The sooner we lock this wing down, the better. The Trandoshans built their fortress inside a vault. Storm the place and challenge their leader. Make the scaly thugs bow to the Empire.